In this video, I'd like to introduce you TQ Auditor and show you how it works. TQ Auditor is the system that evaluates and monitors translation quality. To benefit from uh, the full functionality of the system, register an enterprise account. You will be able to compare many file pairs at once, classify mistakes, get the quality score of the translation, enable discussion between translators and editors, and see the detailed reports of everything what happens with translation quality in your company. Now, when you created an account, you need to add your translators, managers and evaluators in the system. You can add users manually one by one or import their list from Excel file. Go to the users, new user, fill in all the fields and press on create button. The system will send an invitation email to the user and uh, you will see that this user has appeared in the list. You may check the user's card, edit user's details or resend an invitation. There are four types of users with different roles in the system. Translators, evaluators, managers and administrator. Now, when all users are added, we may start working with projects. So go to the projects, new project. You as a manager need to fill the form and appoint the project translator, evaluator and arbiter. Project arbiter is a user that becomes a judge between translator and evaluator in controversial situations. Click on create and let the system take care of the project. The new project will appear in the list. To see the project details, click on its ID number. Manager can control the project, edit and download project files, reassign participants, or delete this project. Now the project has been created and the manager can forget about it. The system sends an email notification to the project evaluator. After uh, receiving this notification, uh, the project evaluator has to compare translated files with edited ones. He uploads the files the TQ Auditor accepts bilingual files of different formats and he click on Comparison Report. The Comparison Report has the word count for each segment, useful statistics and filters. So you can start evaluation. Here you can skip locked units, meaning to hide some units if the client needed some parts stay unchangeable. You can skip segments with fuzzy match percentage. You can fill the evaluation sample word count limit. It is the number of words chosen for the evaluation. The next step is to start quality assessment process. The project evaluator has to select the segment and classify every correction by type and severity and click on add mistake. Add information about this mistake and click on Submit. When the mistakes classification is done, the project evaluator has to press on Complete Evaluation and enter the comment 
to the translator. Press complete. The system will send the quality assessment report to the translator. After the translator has received the report, he can do the following actions. Open the project, view the comparison report, check uh, the mistakes, Go to the evaluation pro uh, report, look through the classification of each mistake. If the translator agrees with the severity of all mistakes, he clicks on complete project. If not, uh, he can add comment. After adding all the comments, the translator clicks on Request evaluation. The project will be sent back to the evaluator who reviews the comments. If they are convincing, the evaluator can change the mistake severity. If not, they may continue the dispute with comments. By default, the translator can return the project to the evaluator for three times maximum. Otherwise, the translator sends the project to the arbiter by pressing on Request Arbitration. Let's go to the Arbiter profile. The Arbiter will provide a final score that cannot be disputed. And to finish the project, he presses on Complete Project button. So here we can see the final project evaluation details and anytime the participants can open it and check it. All the data on translation quality assessment are piled up in the system and after some period you will be able to generate the reports. You can see the best scoring translators or view the detailed report on each translator. How this quality was changing over time to see what typical mistakes the translator makes in what specialization etc. As well, you can see the similar reports by evaluator. Let's go to settings. Uh, you may define your own corporate quality standards and other values like mistake types, specializations, reminders in the menu settings. The system is quite flexible, so you may configure the system up to your needs. Thank you for attention. This was the basic information about the TQ Auditor. Please fr uh, feel free to contact us with any suggestions and questions.